Hello there. My name is Oceana Sawyer and I am an end-of-life doula. And I'm here today to talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart and that is grieving through the body. Now this is a big time for grieving right now and everyone is grieving something and if you're listening to this it's probably because in the last 12 months you have experienced the loss of a family member or a friend or even an animal companion. And black people in particular are also grieving um, the, the many lives of brown and black bodies that have been lost in disproportionate numbers due to the coronavirus and those people have been largely dying alone. And also, um, the number of people this year who have died violent deaths due to sa state-sanctioned murders. So these are unique times for um, people in black bodies because in addition to all of this current loss and trauma, we are also experiencing um, intergenerational trauma experienced from just existing in a system or a society of systemic racism. And all of the many micro aggressions and even outright aggressions that we experience on a regular basis just navigating our world here in the United States. So all of this is happening um, for African Americans right now. And a lot of what's happening for us is that this grief and trauma is being um, experienced in our bodies. Now all bodies grieve in their own ways and your particular body may be expressing grief in all kinds of ways like tears or laughter or a heaviness that you've never quite experienced before. You may even have tremors from time to time and don't know why. Um, you may be experiencing mysterious aches and pains, maybe even a mysterious illness that you don't know where this came from. And you're probably in the emergency room or doctor's office trying to figure out what do I have? And maybe what you have is unexamined grief stored in your body. So given the particular context that we exist in, we need to take particularly good care of ourselves and our bodies as we grieve and recover from the, all of these losses. And that deliberate care you put into your body can help you more fully metabolize the losses that you're experiencing. Now, in addition to whatever self-care you're doing right now to take care of yourself, uh, to maintain um, your heart and mind and body in these um, extraordinary times of the coronavirus, so whether you're doing yoga or meditation or um, you have a particularly clean diet going on or what exercise, all of that is good. Um, just good to have in your life just to maintain yourself in any circumstance. And it's especially good in helping you um, understand and manage and work with your grief. So in addition to all of that, and I'm sure you're getting many good ideas in this grief series, by the way. But I want to offer you an experiment. 
And the experiment is one in which we're going to look at a more sensual approach. Now, don't worry. You get to keep your clothes on for this. What I'm talking about sensual here is all five of your senses. Sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Okay? We're going to be using all five of those senses to explore our grief. So for this exercise, you're going to need um, some writing instruments, a journal or a piece of paper, or a pen or a pencil. But if you're more comfortable doing dictation, you know, with your phone, that's fine too. And then in addition to whatever writing or dictation tools, you're probably also going to need a pair of walking shoes. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take your grief for a walk. And specifically, I'd like for you to get out in nature. Because the natural world is a place where bodies feel particularly settled and good. So if you want to choose something that's near your home, like a park, or you can get in your car and go to a forest or a trail that you're familiar with, um, lakesides and ocean fronts are also good places. Water, moving water is particularly good for um, cleansing um, the area your energetic field around your body. Now, if you can't get outside um, because of the weather or because you live in a particularly urban location, I mean, for me right now, I'm inside recording this. I had actually planned to be outside in my front yard, but there are so many mosquitoes right now, I just could not stay, I couldn't hang. Uh, so I'm inside. And if you're inside like I am, then you want to position yourself near a natural source of light, like a quiet window or doorway, and where you can experience the outdoors even just visually. And along with that, you want to also have something live near you, like a live plant or some vegetables or a piece of fruit. Okay? So once you get yourself settled in whatever environment you've chosen, and you might want to um, listen to this recording again once you've gotten yourself out in nature. Uh, but for now, just listen and, and take some notes. And you can do this later, of course. So once you are, have arrived and settled into your environment, whether you're walking or just sitting, I just want you to just take a few minutes to take some deep breaths and just start to settle into your space, this environment, whatever you've chosen. And after you have settled into your space, then put your attention on someone or maybe once, more than one person, who's uppermost in your mind right now in terms of someone you're missing, someone who's no longer here physically. And you can go as deeply or as lightly as is comfortable for you. There's no wrong way to do this. So do it in whatever way feels good to you. And don't go beyond your comfort zone. Really the point of this is just to become aware of who you're grieving and how that grief feels in your body right now. Where where is this grief right now that you're experiencing? What part of your body? Is it in your belly? Is it in your throat? 
Is it in your head? Does it have a temperature? Is it cold? Is it tight? I mean, I'm sorry, is it cold? Is it hot? Or does it feel tight or constricted? And if so, where um, are you experiencing that? And maybe give it a color or a word. And you don't have to spend a long time with this. These are all just prompts for you to become aware of the experience of grief in your body as you're moving around or in your environment. And try not to judge yourself while you're doing this. Um, really, your job here is just to notice. And once you've done that for a minute or so, you can put that exploration on pause. And then turn your attention to your actual environment. And I want you to put your attention on your environment in very specific ways. Okay? Notice what it is you are experiencing with all of your senses. What do you see? What are the colors? How are they landing with you? What are you smelling as you breathe in your environment? And, and really pay attention to each one of the smells. And notice what you're hearing. Do you hear birds? Do you hear rustling? Do you hear lapping waves? Or if you're inside, do you hear cars? Or do you hear like a family heirloom, like a TikTok clock, which is what I'm hearing right now? And pay attention also to how your environment feels to your body, your sense of touch. Is the air cool or warm on your skin? Do you feel a breeze? And then even with taste, if you're outside walking, you can take a swig of water from your water bottle and just notice how the water feels in your mouth. What are all the tastes you can, you can experience in just that swallow of water? And if you're inside and you've got your bowl of um, vegetables or fruit, go ahead and take a bite. What does it taste like? How are you experiencing that in your body? And all this time, you are just breathing and noticing all these different aspects that are affecting your experience. And after a bit of that, I want you to go ahead and pick up your journal or paper or your phone, whatever you've got, and without thinking, just write down the first five or six words that come to you. They don't have to make any sense, okay? They don't even have to be connected. Just write them down without thinking. And once you've done that, then just keep writing. And you can write as long as you want. This might even be a brief experience for you. But however the experience just sort of naturally concludes, you can stop whenever it just feels right to stop. I'm not gonna give you a time frame to do this. Just whenever it feels good to stop. I find that when I do an exercise like this, that what comes through the writing, what comes through is wisdom, advice from my body or my family member or my ancestors about how I can continue on this grief journey, how what I'm experiencing right now can teach me about how to grow myself up or even just experience the loss that I'm experiencing. I'm not gonna tell you what you should be experiencing and by all means, don't judge yourself. 
because maybe the first time or two that you do this, it doesn't make sense. And that's really fine. It doesn't mean you failed. You can try it again. But the point is just to notice how you're experiencing your grief and what it has to show you, tell you, teach you. I hope you enjoy this. I've had a great time talking with you and I wish you well on your grief journey. Take care.